Hello friends, welcome to TechLek video tutorials. In this ongoing uh, Spark SQL video tutorials, uh, past few sessions we went through SQL DML operations like uh, insert, delete, truncate. And today primarily we will focus on update. And uh, when it comes to traditional databases, right, when we talk about a data manipulation language. So data manipulation language primarily insert, update, delete, insert, merge, update. Truncate we will treat as a DDL because traditional databases will have a TCL, transaction control language, which you can commit, which you can commit or roll back. Commit is nothing but saving data. Rollback is nothing but undo the data. But when it comes to file system, Spark backend is a distributed file system. And uh, internally, Delta Lake manages those transactions. Explicitly, we no need to specify any TCL here because that's why there is no TCL concepts in Delta Lake. And uh, update, delete, merge, restore, primarily Delta Lake features. On top of Delta Lake, Delta Lake is giving you or enabling you data manipulation language features with acid properties. And regarding this Spark SQL or Databricks SQL with the Delta Lake, I have created this complete uh, tutorial notebooks. The DBC file, which I already mentioned in uh, previous videos description, video description, it is available in my GitHub. Uh, my GitHub account is, this is my account name and the repository is PySpark Telugu. So there you can go to that. There's a file called Databricks Spark SQL Tutorial. Copy this link or download, import into your workspace. So you can right click into your workspace and import because I can see some comments where to find this DPC file. So every video description, I mentioned this location, just copy that import into your workspace and you will be getting complete uh, tutorial, Spark, uh, SQL, uh, DCL, DDL, DML, DRL. As of now, we covered data definition, how to create a database, how to create a table, how to create a view, how to create a constraint, how to alter a table. Then data manipulation language, insert, truncate, and delete we covered. So today we'll understand update. Then we'll focus on merge, SCD type one, type two, type three, then DRL, data retrieval language. That we will focus later in upcoming sessions. So today primarily we'll understand update. If you want to update any data in existing table, so every database, any RDBMS, you can choose Teradata, Oracle, MySQL, DB2, any database. So most of the databases, any RDBMS will be having this update feature. So similarly, Delta Lake is enabling you update on Delta tables. So I'm going to create a, I'm going to create a table. But before that, it is a community edition. If table location already available, then I cannot create will show you that it will raise exception saying that file already available. So because same community start using for making a videos, if, uh, if table already created, when you recreate a cluster metadata spark, or whatever the metadata here, it will be terminated or you can say deleted from spark catalog, but data will be there in a location. Looks like the table is not available. It is created. Let's see you the data first. Just uh, I'll query from a table, all underscore employee. I changed the theme. If you go to the view, there is an option called notebook theme. Earlier it was a light. I changed to dark theme. I changed to dark theme. That's the flexibility which you can change the theme. And uh, you see different colors when you go with the dark theme. And select star from table, you can see the number of records, total nine records. It's an employee ID, employee name, employee location ID. And I want to update a particular record in this table. So how we will update? Update table syntax, update table set of columns because we are going to update at column specific. 
delete record specific row specific so that's why we'll go with delete from a table if you want to delete or ret retrieve select star from means row wise you are going to select row specific you are going to select delete also row specific entire row you can delete entire row you can retrieve but when it comes to update column specific not row specific your update on column specific that is called set is the keyword which column you want to update consider there is a location id which is a cost employee id is three name is raj location i want to update a three this three it is a two now sorry employee id three location i want to update as four this is the location id four i want to update here existing is two location so if i do that it is going to update in a particular employee id location id as four it is a two now you see this this employee id location two now verify it again verify it again so this four location four it is updated let's create another table called location table this is the locations table same way here also if table is uh, location already available then i need to delete this just i'll delete only this table physical location so how to delete physical location of table percentage fs rm minus r then that location okay this is only for community edition real time whenever you are deleting data deleting a table dropping table deleting files make sure that you are deleting proper or required one or based on the requirement now i'll recreate this i'll recreate this i'm going to recreate a new table that is locations it is having a location id location name and both the tables i'll join and i will get the data so, so select a star from all employee so this table is having employee information employee id employee name location id and uh, as alias name in our join and another table called locations locations as l on condition a dot id equal to sorry l dot id this is a location id okay now you see this location id is bangalore location id one is bangalore similarly location if i do the order by one is a bangalore two is a hyderabad three is a chennai like this okay now if you want to delete we can do the delete but we are talking about update so we did update a condition basis where class by mistake if you miss this condition i'm going to update location id comment is this one two minus and set location id eight in this table if i miss the condition what will happen filter is row by row wise but if you miss that it will re update all records in that column so here you can see the location id one two three multiple are there right like pune chennai hyderabad bangalore so i missed the condition so all employees i updated as location id eight so so in this table when it comes to eight is kolkata now run this query now you see this every employee id location is kolkata you see this because if you miss that where class filter condition then it will go and update that the entire column all rows that is while deleting while updating we should remember this we should remember condition based delete condition based updates even you can use a subquery based updates as well i want to take minimum location id greater than that any location id is available that update as one okay but before that i need to recreate the table or i need to restore that because 
This table, everything is eight only. Location ID is eight only. You see this. So there is an option called restore. Delta Lake supports restore. You can restore. So describe history and your table name. It will give you complete a uh, edit log from this Delta table. That's the advantage of Delta table. Then I want to restore this one version. The version as of one. First, I will show you the data. Select star from. This is time travel. Version as of one. Off is missing. Now, this is the time travel, which I'm going to take previous version data. This is the data I want. So, you can use the restore table to this version. Okay. Now, I'm going to restore data. Then, once it is restored, I can verify the latest data. Then, again, I'll update condition based or subquery based condition based or subquery based even you can go with the bare class directly static values like uh, giving like this static values 8 or we can take it from another table condition basis so where in not in exist which we can use those greater than less than so that is also possible that is also possible let's be, wait a few more seconds a restore is happening so you see this yeah it's restored and verify that number of removed files, number of restored files, removed file size, restored file size in bytes, the size in bytes. Now, here now you see each employee is having different locations. Then condition based, condition based. Take minimum location ID from that table. One minimum is one only. Then greater than that, any location ID greater than that, update as one means so minimum is one then greater than that if you have a two or three or then any location id it will go and update as one now we can verify after that condition basis you see six records updated out of nine six records so everything is one only now you see this or you can go with condition basis if this is matching then exist or not exist basis if not exist then update as location id zero both are like if it will verify the location id from table that is called correlated subquery then because uh, when it comes to not exist means all are matching only one is available in both tables so matching So one is available in both tables, so it is matching. Then you can go with the restore. You can go with the restore and uh, you can verify. So this way, which we can go with the uh, updating data condition based. In that condition, you can write a where class subquery or correlated subquery. Where class subquery, correlated subquery. So this is where class subquery inside where class subquery and the main update query based on this result this will be executed and when it comes to exist not exist correlated every record by record it will do the comparison but it won't return the data it will return the boolean value so based on that it will update that so exist not exist faster than in not in when your inner table is having a huge data inner table is having huge data if inner table is having huge data in is not suggestible okay then so this way which we can go with update next session we will understand restore and merge thank you thank you for watching my videos if you're not subscribed please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you have a good day